next story here, special counsel John Durham charges the Russian analyst behind the Steele dossier with lying to FBI agents. Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch, here to react. Tom, I don't think we can overstate how big a development this is. Explain why that is so. Well, this is the guy, according to Durham, who made up out of whole cloth the core allegations of the Steele dossier, that there was this conspiracy between the Trump operation and the Russians uh, to uh, uh, change the outcome of the election, and secondly, that uh, Trump engaged in some weird sexual activities in Russia. And it was made up, and it was made up by the Clinton operation. Fusion GPS hired Christopher Steele, who hired Jujineko, who is the guy who made it all up. And, of course, he's a Russian. And uh, the Durham indictment suggests strongly uh, that um, he was an operative for the intelligence um, <coughs> uh, arm of the Russian government. But that remains to be seen. And, of course, some of his stories were generated by a volunteer and a top supporter of the Clinton campaign. And, you know, to take a step back, also, though, the FBI knew this was all garbage early on. Uh, they should have known it was garbage. In fact, they were so desperate uh, to get dirt on Trump uh, that they were also paying Christopher Steele Judicial Watch Uncovered in 2016, at the same time the Clinton campaign was paying him. So, what I think I, I want to know is, uh, is this an FBI informant indirectly that the FBI had to arrest yesterday for John Durham? Uh, incredible, incredible uh, news. I think Andy McCarthy would agree with you on the Clinton front. He has an op-ed in the New York Post and writes, Special Counsel John Durham's indictment of the principal source for the bogus Steele dossier further illustrates that Durham has his sights set on the Clinton campaign. The dossier was generated by the Clinton campaign. So, Tom, how does this end? Well, part of the process, in my view, ought to include the questioning directly of Mrs. Clinton by John Durham. You know, the last I checked in terms of the congressional testimony, uh, the dossier people refused to tell um, investigators what they told the candidate or the campaign directly. I think she should be asked questions. You know, you know there's other information out there that there was intelligence that uh, the Clinton people and, frankly, the Obama people, through the FBI, who were also anti-Trump, made all of this up because of the email scandal. They were She was nervous, obviously, about the criminal liability. Obviously, it was also a political uh, problem for her as well. So, what do you do? You make up fake allegations against your political opponent, you know, which may be, you know, fair, <laughs> you know, however unethical, in a campaign. But when you're using the FBI, uh, to active to spy on your uh, political your political opponent, both Obama and Clinton, that's where you get into crimes. And when you're lying to the FBI, uh, that's what uh, that's what Durham's looking into. Yeah, I'm glad Durham finally did something right. here. But let's be clear: the FBI knew four years ago this was a lie. Mueller knew four years ago it was a lie. And people like Adam Schiff, who's running now the January 6th Select Committee knew it was a lie. Yeah. And it does beg the question, if Bob Mueller has all the money and all the resources in the world to try to figure out, get to the bottom of the Russia situation, mm -hmm. where was this? Magically, what is, wasn't there. Tom Fitton, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, sir.